everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you how you can create custom keyboard shortcuts for any application that you've installed on your Mac. So most Mac users will know that OS X has a lot of keyboard shortcuts for making things go quicker on your Mac, uh, such as quitting applications and the basic stuff like cut, copy, and paste. Apple has some restrictions on these keyboard shortcuts though, and it takes a little digging to figure out how you can actually change them or disable some or things like that. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today and how to add your own for any application, for any menu item that doesn't already have a keyboard shortcut. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to disable your function keys up on the top. So let's say that you use your function keys all the time, you know, maybe to go to dashboard or things like that, but you don't ever play music with them and you'd rather have your media keys do something more useful than, you know, play music from iTunes. Maybe you don't use iTunes. Uh, this application here called Function Flip actually lets you disable, basically changes the function of your media keys or whatever function keys you choose. And this is a free application and I'll have a link below the video so you can download it. So basically once you download it, it's a system preferences pane and if you have in a system preferences, so basically with Function Flip you can disable the function of your function keys. A lot of functions there. Uh, basically any function key that you select will disable itself by default unless you hold down the function key. So it's kind of like an inverse of what the key was, which is called function flip. So for example, I have F8 selected for play and pause. So if I hit F8, you won't see any media playing or anything like that. So the key is now disabled, but if I still want to use it, I can hold down the function key and then press F8, and then it'll start playing music like it normally would. But now that these function keys are freed up, now what I can do is I can assign different keyboard shortcuts to them that I might use all the time instead of something like spaces which I might never use. And this gets us to the next process here which if you go back to the show all and you go over to the keyboard tab you can click on keyboard shortcuts up here and you have all the different default keyboard shortcuts that are on your Mac. And this is pretty nice because if you want to look at keyboard shortcuts that are set by default this is a handy way to do it and you can learn keyboard shortcuts this way, uh, but you can also change the ones that are default and you can also add your own. So let's look at something like Spotlight here and I can change the function of showing the Spotlight window from Option, Command, Space to whatever I want. So all I have to do is double click on it and I can add my own key. So let's try Control, Alt, Command, Space. So now you have that entire combination. And now when I hit that combination, you can see that the spotlight window pops up. So it's kind of a nice option that you can change your keyboard shortcuts by default. So this is kind of handy if you don't particularly like the keyboard shortcuts that are built in by default, or perhaps you want to use a certain shortcut for something else. Now, if you want to make your own, what you'll have to do is you'll have to go down to the application shortcuts. And now you'll see that this little plus minus box appears here, and you can select plus. And now you can select what application you want from here. So these are all the apps that you have installed on your Mac. And you can choose any one of these apps, or if you go up to the top, you can select all applications, and this will act like a global shortcut for everything. And with this, you can edit a keyboard shortcut for anything. So for this example, I'll just use App Store, and we'll do a keyboard shortcut for that. So now that you have App Store selected, now you can go into App Store, and you can look at what menu commands are available to you. So if we go up in these menus here and we look around, uh, let's go under Window and let's say we want a keyboard shortcut for Zoom. Now this isn't probably something that you use a keyboard shortcut for to Zoom, uh, but it's just a good example that is unmapped already by a key combination. As you can see, stuff like Minimize and Close the Window already have key combinations, but let's make one for Zoom. So what you'll have to do is go back over to System Preferences and you'll have to put in the menu title. And now by menu title, they don't mean the top level menu like Edit, View, or Window or something like that. They mean the actual menu uh, item that you want selected. So if we go to Window and then you can see we want just Zoom. So what we'll do is in System Preferences, we'll type in Zoom. And then in the next tab, we'll put the shortcut that we want. So before, when we used Function Flip, we disabled the F8 key uh, that used to play music. So let's say now we want to use the Zoom option all the time now. I don't know really why you'd want to, uh, 
uh, but just an example. Now we can select F8, and once you hit it on your keyboard, it'll pop up in the keyboard shortcut box, and then you can hit enter to add, and now you've created your shortcut. And you can go on creating shortcuts like this all day long for any application, and all applications as well globally. And once you have this done, we'll quit our system preferences, and now I'm in App Store, and I hit F8. You can see that that now toggles the zoom option. So it's a handy way to remap keys on your keyboard, maybe clear up some of the function keys that you don't really use, and make them do what you want. So there you go, there's how you can assign keyboard shortcuts for any application in Mac OS X. And as always, if there's anything that you'd like to have me do a how-to about, uh, whether it's about OS X or iOS, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful. This is Michael with Cult Mac, and thanks for watching.